Ladies and gentlemen, can I please have your attention? I've just been handed an urgent and horrifying news story. And I need all of you to stop what you're doing and listen. First, today we're going to be building a craftsman style cubby, like a drop zone or a mudroom area to sit down and kick off the shoes. I believe I've built that before on this vlog, but this is just a simple four cubbies on bottom, four cubbies on top, beadboard, back wall. Let me draw you a little picture. This section here is for the cubbies. Step one will be cutting these, this section, 14 inches deep. Here's my material. Two sheets, three quarter inch MDF. I'm gonna rip these down on the table saw into 14 inch strips. The next thing I do is cut the beadboard to the correct width, to the correct height, in between the wall. I'll just don't lock that one. Fit the beadboard in between the walls at the correct height. Whatever. I don't have time to. I don't have time to keep trying to explain this to you. If you can't just watch and figure it out, then I don't. I don't know how to help. of the back wall for the bottom piece. 66 and three quarters. Then you wanna check the squareness of it. Compensate for any unsquareness on the sheet rock. Go to the saw and transfer your marks to a board and cut it. Then bring it back and install it. Everything seems to be fitting well. I've got the bottom, the seat, the top middle and the top top, 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 cut and ready to go. Time to cut all the little uprights. One, two, three, four, five, four, five. Here we go. After that, all that's left is doing a little math to divide up the bottom and installing these things. Just gonna sand it really well, knock down the sharp corners, round them over a little bit with a orbital sander. And then I'm gonna get out of here. Yep, it's made with bits of real panther. So you know it's good. It's quite pungent. Oh yeah. Stings the nostrils. In a good way. Yep. Brian, I'm gonna be honest with you, that smells like pure gasoline. 60% of the time, it works. Every time. That doesn't make sense. On to the next one. Can I just get a large coffee? No ma'am. No ma'am. That's it. Thank you. Even Burger King coffee cost a dollar. A dollar sixty-nine for Burger King coffee? Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Jeez. It's kind of expensive. Better be 100% Arabica beans or something. I just got to my second job for the day. A lot of trim here, but none of what I need. You see, I was going to build pantry shelf, master closet, a mud room, other kinds of shelving, things like that. Now I've had all this coffee, 
all this caffeine and I have nothing, no, no direction in which to aim my energy. It's been a really weird week. I chose this week to start vlogging because of how busy it was supposed to be. <laughs> Ugh. I'm sorry. I wish it was a longer vlog as well. I almost forgot. Home.